Greetings, welcome to my Cosmic Kitchen. I'm Brigitte Mars. I'm gonna show you how to make raw, vegan, healthy chocolate chip cookies in about two minutes. Well, actually, the first minute you're gonna spend making nut milk. I chose to use hazelnuts. So we make hazelnut milk in the morning to drink with our yerba mate, which um, we blend up one cup of hazelnuts with a quart of water and then strain it through a paint strainer bag which you can get at a hardware store and have all this beautiful pulp left over. Well, we don't want to be wasteful with such a precious resource. After all, the Brits believe that a lot of their great literature came from the use of hazelnuts or filberts, which are, which are somewhat shaped like the head. In any case, it's my choice for making a nut milk. But what to do with the pulp? You could dehydrate it if you have a dehydrator. I want you to know I once used a black trampoline as a food dehydrator covered with lace. But for most purposes, you can buy a solar dehydrator or I have a Sedona. Um, take the pulp for, left over from the nut milk bag after blending the hazelnuts. And then, it's so easy, you take some coconut sugar, which I haven't heard that there's anything really bad about it. it seems easy enough. I like that it has a brown color so that indicates it's high in minerals. I'm just gonna add some of that to it. Now, instead of adding an egg or flour, one of my favorite foods, superfoods and binding agents is chia seeds. They are a black food, so they're really good for kidney yang in Asian medicine, and they will help things stick together. And they are high in omega-3 fatty acids. Aha, spring water to life. We're gonna add that, that's gonna help it stick together. And chia seeds expand seven times their volume in water. Pounded chia seeds can be a month of breakfast. One of my favorite uh, Jedi survival foods. So basically, here's my cookie dough. Now to make it chocolatey, I have some raw cacao nibs. Raw cacao nibs. And after all, I am an herbalist. I am going to add a couple drops of doTERRA cardamom essential oil. Now you could add some kind of edible flower, rose petals if you had them, calendula would be another one. So basically mix it together. And now on the dehydrator tray, you just make little cookie patties and you're gonna dehydrate them however long you like. It's safe to leave the dehydrator on while you're you know, gone, not in the house, unlike the oven. Um, you can, uh, they store very well. They make good travel food. You could add nuts to them, like dehydrated walnuts and other spices, cinnamon, ginger. I hope you enjoy these raw vegan cookies that I am going to share with my lovely friends.